Hey everybody, what's up? It's Neon Tiger, and welcome back to the SMB server. And today we are, oh my god, we're standing on a platform. Scott, what are we doing here? What are we doing on this platform? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. We are building the first hole for our Ender Pearl golf course. Oh my god. So, goodness. the yeah. idea the idea here is that we're going to start off most of the holes on little platforms like this so that you have a clear area from which you're supposed to uh, you know, send your Ender Pearl off and you have. Um, a little bit of a height advantage so that you can see the course a little bit better so that's kind of the idea here mm -hmm. now we're going to be building this first hole together and mm -hmm. we've determined that we want to snake this hole around to the right and so what i've right. done is i've already kind of shot an ender pearl out here at the optimal angle in order let me just run up here there we are. So this is going to be roughly where a good fairway shot, so to speak, will come from. And yes. so what we're going to be doing is building a natural uh, barrier over here so that people don't cut through the course, so to speak. It'd be very risky. Mm -hmm. It'd be very risky to try and cut through here as opposed to taking the safe way across the fairway and then over to the right. So we'll probably have the course finish on, or this particular hole we're finish off build... over in this a direction. giant hit filled with endermen <laughs> we'd have to give them all name tags wouldn't we yes uh but yeah so well, just guess what we're going on a caving adventure today scott fun fun it looks like the sun's about to set too which is oh, always yep. great um so here here are some of the rules that we've kind of determined about our uh golf course so we're going to be using uh this diorite to be the outline, and any time you land outside the uh, parameters of the hole into the rough, so to speak, that's going to be an automatic minus two stroke. Um, we're also going to have soul sand and water traps, and hitting those is a minus one stroke. So we're going to have probably a good deal of fun designing this course here. Um, we yes. want to make sure that we set it up so that it's it makes sense. Yeah, it would be challenging. So I think for this particular hole, we're going to be going for, what do you think, about a par three? I think so. I think three is good. Yeah, it kind of depends on how we want to do the approach to the green. Uh, maybe a par four if we try and throw in some other obstacles or make it a little bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to sleep here. All right. Uh, but yeah, we can throw in some other obstacles and make it a little bit more difficult. Um, that's That's kind of the idea here. So what do, you, what do you think? Starting out here, we definitely want to kind of mark out the boundary. So what's a, what's yes. a block that um, will show up? Well, I suppose we could use the diorite. We could, and then we could just get it so, figured out as far as... I think I'll take the uh, right, and then you take okay. the left here, and we'll try and figure sure. out how it's going to go. So I'm just going to do this... We'll see how this goes. All right, I think I'm going to end up tapering it in here a little bit. Kind of start. So I think I like the idea of bringing it across this hill here. Okay. Look at this. We'll see how this looks on the map. Gonna make sure that it makes sense. Oh, you're actually laying it out like. Oh no no no! Yeah. I wanted it. Oh, I kind of okay. yeah. I kind of wanted it to be flush with the ground so that it looks a bit nicer. Uh, so I'm okay. just laying down a block every every so often so that we can visually see it without gotcha. having to actually put it down. Gotcha. All right, that's that's not a problem. That's why I have this pick so I can take Oops, a really quick Oops, pick. a daisy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. No problem. The only issue is I don't know if it's going to show up well. Uh, let me yeah. pop this off. Put that's it back my on. One, that's my one concern is it might not show up very well because it is just a single block. Oh, they show up okay. They oh, show okay. up okay. Um, okay. So it looks like you're going okay. just a little bit wider than me. No, okay. actually, that, that works out pretty well, I think. So that uh -huh. hill can be a very nice kind of natural obstacle. So I think really tall pine trees, you know, the, the ones that are four or two wide or whatever, 
yeah. think that'd be really good to put here. Mm -hmm. Just and to ensure that people don't the way, cut The way over. we do it is we don't want to do it so that obviously it's like an actual wall because that looks kind of ugly. But we want to yeah, exactly. we, we want to space them so that they they form a wall based on what their leaves look like and everything. Yeah, exactly. And then again, like, then right. again, like I said, um, if somebody wants to attempt to go through the rough, good for mm -hmm. them. It's still going to be guess. a minus two <laughs> for because going if, through the rough. Yeah, if 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 they decide to, oh, decide to be smart enough to do it, or if they decide to be dumb enough like me and throw your ender pearl right at your feet. <laughs> so I'm actually going to go ahead and start placing down the stone. Okay. And I think this is probably a good place to break so that you don't have to see us oh, really putting down this, this, is, well, this is the most exciting part of the day oh exactly right Stone so, unfortunately we're depriving our viewers of such excellent delights shame on <laughs> us shame on us either way we'll be right back see yep. you all in a second all right welcome back guys we've done a little bit of work here yes uh, so we have kind of outlined the beginning of our course here let me actually come on over here and i'll update the map so that we can see what's going on what and then put that back cool yep so nihon why don't you go ahead and talk about what you've done all right well i, I think the map is only updating for you unfortunately at the moment because i'm not i'm seeing not seeing the updates i think i don't see the outline do you see an outline yep on there? i see the outline I do not see the outline, so oh, I'm gonna have to watch Scott's video. Yeah, to see that. <laughs> but I will talk about what what I've done here. I've gone and filled in all all the grass that was in the, the green area here has been removed and moved over here, and so I've kind of got it so that it goes back a ways and it's gonna thin out a little bit as it gets closer to the river and further away from the green, just because it doesn't make much sense to fill the whole thing out here. Um. And this and what was have we just, got here? This is just the natural hole that I found and decided to make into a bunker. So we got soul sand in the, the bottom here. I just tore out all the blocks that were in the bottom and put soul sand in. And that was all I did. And so it was just naturally there. And I thought, you know what? Let's use it. Let's not fill it in. It's, if it's if it's a natural bunker, let's make it a natural bunker. Well, not not so natural. Do you know what this yeah. was? a creeper hole <laughs> oh. <laughs> good job okay well it counts it counts for purposes of construction yeah so um, essen essentially you know you're hopefully you guys are kind of getting the idea of what we're going for here so one of the things that we'll be doing here on camera for you guys is we want to figure out where the approach to the green is going to be and yes. unfortunately i'm not quite sure how we should do the green do you think we should get like lime green wool or yes i think in that's order perfect. to have the green yeah that's that's, that's what i was thinking too so we'll have to get some of that but i wanted to kind of get a feel so nihon why don't you go over to to the map and then you can update it once i've built the marker of where where i land here and then okay. you can let me know if i've landed a good place or whether we need to move it um up or down okay. on the map so all right well ho hopefully it'll hopefully it will degrees. update for me 45 degrees and okay so i've kind of landed in the middle of some trees let me get a look for where we are okay i'll try and put some stuff on top here okay okay so we'll say that i landed right here Okay, so go ahead and update the map now and see if you can see where I landed here. Otherwise, I'll just head on over there to you. Um, yeah, I cannot see the... I don't know if I can see the update on there. Yeah, let me come on over there and see if I can. Okay. See, now that I've... <laughs> so off camera, we collected a whole bunch of supplies and stuff. Yes. And I got a ton of ender pearls. <laughs> so <laughs> now I'm just like ender pearling everywhere. <laughs> yes. Uh, so well, let me see if I can update this. Sissies. That's correct. And you don't want to be a sissy. Nobody wants to be a sissy. Um, 
Looks like it did not update for me. That's weird. Yeah. Let me. Hmm. Oh, did you? Did you oh, grab no, the map? It's over here. Oh. Whoa, whoa. Where did the map go? I got it on me. Oh yeah, but go ahead and put it back on there. Let me just kind of let me try something here. Hey, Deadcraft is on. Maybe that will fix it. He's our good luck charm. I hope. <laughs> Certainly hope. Um, where, where are you going? <laughs> what are you uh, doing? I just, I just <laughs> left. I left the map and came back to it. To see if that fixed it. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Oh uh, well, let's go take a look at where it is at least. Yeah, I don't know. That's the thing. I, I don't know if it's in a good place there. So yeah, so this is more art than science, really. Mm -hmm. um, but some, some of our plans, we're going to be doing tall pine trees, if we haven't mentioned over here, as the natural barrier for uh, coming over I this see, way. I see. It's right here. We're at the top of this tree. Yeah. Ish would be okay. So it's between these two lakes, but closer to the bottom lake. So let's have a look on the map. Okay. I want to see if that's roughly what we're going for there. So that's the thing. People are going to be able to watch the videos and know the optimal way to do the course. That's the thing. We'll, we'll always know the optimal way to complete our course. Yes. Um, I think that's okay. I think yeah, that's probably a good spot. Um, I am. I think the idea here, what I want to do as far as where the boundaries are, I don't know if it's maybe too mean Let's make to this, do it. I think we should make it, it like a this, par but, four. My idea would be like having the out of bounds lines kind of follow at least along the north end here or the south end here, follow along this ridge, like the bottom of the ridge, so that it's kind of going through the valley. And if you get up on top of here, it's kind of out of bounds. Maybe. Yeah, I want to, that's what I was thinking too. Make it really narrow so that they can't get up high. <laughs> yeah. Um, kind of make, or maybe make, do like a tiny little piece up top on the ridge so that people aim for that and miss <laughs> that would be kind of really mean but fun it would but that would i think i think we should do that put yeah on top of that ridge at the top there um oh. let me pearl over there so you see where i'm talking about yeah right here yes. have like just right a here. little itty bitty maybe not that small but like over <laughs> okay. like right here like okay i got i got, I got what you're saying yeah like through here yeah Except we don't want to have floating trees, so. So we'll do something like. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, like that's this. mean. <laughs> yeah, that's excellent. Um, and then of course. What, what I was thinking was we have the 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 pine trees kind of um. Mm -hmm. Overlap the the rough from the rough over into the actual fairway, because okay. that would be, that'd be kind of fun. So that it would. You know, not necessarily prevent people from going over on this side, but mm -hmm. you know, it would definitely be a natural barrier. So I, I think, think that, I think, think that work. I think people might aim for that thing up there so that they can get closer. Yeah. But the optimal route is just going to be to plow through here. Um, mm -hmm. So I think this should be a par four. So okay. you land here, and then this is the approach to the green. So you need to pull up. Mm -hmm. So we want to put the sense. green. And I was thinking that this is where we could kind of cut over into the next quadrant as well. Okay. So if we are here, then we'd want to have the green kind of more. Can you see me right now? Do you know um, Not yet. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see you so, up here. Yep. More more like in this direction. Okay. And so maybe not a par Yeah, maybe not maybe not a par four, maybe a par three, because we haven't even discussed how what our targets are gonna be. What what should yeah. it be? Should it be get through a hoop? Should it be land oh. in a hole? I think it should be land in a hole. Yeah, I think that'd be best. Land in a hole. Get through hoop and land in a hole. No, no, that's too no, much. No, that's too, too difficult. That's too, that's too much science. I think Math. I think there would be a lot of frustration there. <laughs> I think everybody would quit after the first one. Just um, like, I'm not doing this anymore. This is stupid. Maybe a hoop, because that would make it so that you have to approach the green. 
because we could angle the hoop in such a way that it's really difficult to get through from from the fairway without you know approaching the green first and getting on the green. True. Ooh, I think that's a good idea, actually. Did I did I accidentally a good idea? I think we accidentally a good idea. Nice. Okay, so I think that putting the green like over here, here. would be really good. Maybe maybe. Ooh. Or maybe down below in this valley, and we could use this lake as a natural trap. Okay, that works. And then we could put the green, like, do we want to do it up or down in the valley? Um, we could do it down in the valley, and then have it kind of be, we could angle the mountain around even to have, like, the mountain be the back side of it. Yeah, that's what so I that, was thinking. So that way you don't... Maybe you, so that you would have something to kind of hit and then get through yeah. the hoop. If you want to. Yeah, but that's the thing. We want to make it so that when it's optimal, the hoop is angled in just a way that you are able to get through it, but it's going to be difficult. Because that okay. way you can get your birdie. <laughs> yes. Too bad we can't build an automatic scoring system for this. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, we'd have to have like command blocks and all that stuff. Which we don't really have. Yes. Oh, well. <laughs> no access to that. So I think this is probably a good place to leave off here. We'll do a bit more work, and then we will uh, jump back in and show you what we've done. Certainly will. All right. See you soon. Yep. We have made some significant progress on the hole here. So we have the entire outline done. We uh, have put in some of our really tall trees over here to block people from going around. And we've put in a couple traps and I'm actually taking a look up here from the tee, and Nihon, this is great. I actually can't see the sand trap at all. That is great. That's I think that's one of the things we want to do is kind of have this little trolley, little sand trap here at the start. Yeah, so I'm just going to do a perfect throw here and see where I land. Uh, so a little bit beyond, a little bit beyond. I may want to okay. put in a... Maybe, maybe I want to bring it out a bit more this way. Maybe just, yeah, I think just a little bit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so check it out. We've got our really tall um, spruce trees that are making it so that you can't really cut through. Um, so that's that's kind of what we're intending here. Yep, and I've got, some, I just got, I've just put in some uh, some decoration trees for the most part on the, I think that's south facing side, right over here. I've got some just some trees that are up there for the sake of uh looking aesthetically nice good stuff all right well we'll work a little bit more and we'll show you the hole once it's done yep we have got ourselves a first hole pretty much done uh, there's a few more things to finish up and tidy up around here but i think we're pretty close to uh to being done it's looking pretty good here i gotta say um so we did a little bit of minor adjusting to get things right. And we think that we've come up with something that's going to be really challenging for the people to play on and a lot of fun. So I will say that this is definitely going to be a par four course. Um, and birdies are going to be very possible. But it is possible to get an eagle on this course. And I think people are going to be really frustrated when they first play because they're going to be like, no, an eagle is definitely not possible. And I can guarantee you, based on all the testing that we did, it is possible to get on to the center and back of the green on the second shot from the tee. It is yes. possible. It's very unlikely, but it mm -hmm. is possible. Yeah, so, a little bit of luck and a little bit of skill, but yeah. We ran out of green dye, so uh, yeah, these are just, so this is just a placeholder for the time being. It's temporary in the non-Sestonian sense where it actually is temporary. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, there will be a blue ring that goes here. And in order mm -hmm. to complete the hole, you have to get your body through the blue ring. Yes. Um, we added in sand trap. There's all kinds of good traps in here. So there, these are two natural lakes. And I'll tell you what, this natural lake that's right here, I actually had to take out some of the water here because this was vicious, absolutely yep. vicious. It it's going was, to give players a ton of difficulty on the it approach. It was definitely catching people when we were testing this. It was catching both of us when we were testing it. So it'll be pretty good. And this is this is a nice sand trap here, if you don't know that this is here. This is a very tempting place to aim for, so bam. Mm -hmm. 
will say right now that most people land or the, the times that we've played the course trying to mimic, you know, maybe a first time player or something, we've landed anywhere between like right here all the way up through like right here. So it's, uh, it's, it's going to be pretty good. I'm, I'm excited about this. Um, I am excited as well. There's going to be some, uh, some real possibilities and opportunities to build some creative and unique holes here. And I've already got ideas for some challenging shots on a future hole, but that's going to be hole number three. I got to worry about hole number two first. Okay. Can't put the cart before the, the horse yet. Yep, exactly. Also, speaking of carts, we ought to, mm -hmm. instead of having like a golf cart, hey, look, we got an intruder on the field. <gasps> For shame. Look well, at you, sir. you derp. <laughs> sir, I'm going to have to take your coat. Oh. Thank you. You can get that back after you're done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, instead of having, Instead of having a golf cart path, maybe we should just have a um, mine cart link maybe yeah, so that you can ride a minecart in between the holes i think that'd, that'd be, be cool. cool i like that anyway we've gone on long enough we've been working on this for hours like mm -hmm. it's it's late we're gonna go to sleep <laughs> yeah it's been at least four and a half maybe five hours so we've, we've been working on this so hopefully so. you guys enjoyed the uh the video but mm -hmm. anyway as the sun sets here thank you so much for watching we both really appreciate you guys i'm scott I'm Neon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out on SMB Server, and we'll see you here next time. Good night and goodbye. Good night.